Do you have an old webcam just laying around? Well, you can turn it into a hidden eye tracker for just $30. Let me quickly show you how it works. If we jump into Star Citizen here, you can see that my head is being tracked by my webcam. I can even just use my eyes to look around in my cockpit. This will increase your awareness quite a bit. And this video is sponsored by BMI Tracker. But in the past, I have worked with them. And the product has been super good so i said i would work with them again let me quickly show you how to set everything up so that you can also look around in your cockpit to install bmi tracker we first need to install open track because we need to hook up bmi tracker with this software you can get open track on github here i'll link this in the description all that you need to do is go down all the way here here is the latest release scroll down all the way and the .ex file you can just click on this and it will start downloading once it has downloaded you can just double click the software it's just like installing a game i already have installed mine so let's go to the software once you have installed open track you just want to go to inputs here select eyewear beam this will just allow beam eye tracker to hook into open track so quickly select that output is free track dot 2.0 enhanced that's all that you need to know next up here we're going to go to profile say create new empty config name it something that you like i'm just going to name it please sub so that you can subscribe there we go now we're going to put a key binding to recenter everything so recenter add bind i like to do just a dot Press enter. Now, every time you press it, it will recenter. Now, open track is all set up. Let's go install Beam Eye Tracker. To install Beam Eye Tracker, you can go to that website. I'll put my affiliate link in the description. I'll get a little bit of a kickback if you buy it on their website, but you can also buy it on Steam if you want to. If you buy it on their website, you'll save a little bit more resources since you don't have to have it open. But if you go to pricing here, you can see it is. $30 thereabout. Just say get BMI tracker. You can buy it here. Once you have installed BMI tracker, it should pop up in the corner, but sometimes it has an extra overlay. The overlay might look something like this. Just hit the X so that you can set up everything. Now that we're back at BMI tracker, we want to quickly hit start here on the little octopus. So first go to open track, hit start. Now that BMI tracker is here, Let's go to our settings, choose camera. Make sure that you select your camera. Most cameras will work if they can record in 30 FPS. You can see here, I've got the Logitech webcam C930. Mine can only record in 30 FPS. Here you can select your resolution, but I would prefer 30 FPS. Choose your location of your camera and the degrees. Mine is plus 20. Hit save. Once saved, I usually like to minimize. And then here at the corner, open up it again. Double click it. Once here, you need to enable gaming extensions. So once this is enabled, you can actually see the octopus will start moving up and down because it will be following your head. We can open Star Citizen and set it up there. It really takes no time. Once in Star Citizen, I like to head over to Arena Commander. So I'll just select offline, click free fly. I like the map Jericho, say launch. Once you're in Arena Commander, hit escape, options, key bindings, advanced controls, go all the way to the bottom. And here by VoIP and hat tracking, we want to set up a key binding. It will enable head tracking and turn it off and on. So mine is just period. If I hit the period, it will just turn on head tracking for me and off. This is just to recenter it whenever it goes bad. But to set it up actually in the game, just go escape options, then comms, VoIP and head tracking. Once here, you can go to head tracking, source, track IR, Select track IR and then here you need to toggle yes. Now the period key that I just bind will turn this on and off. But that's basically all that you need to do. 
The others is just extra settings that you can fiddle with. But that's the basics of setting it up. Now you can head back in game here and everything should be working. I'm moving my head around, looking left, looking right, up and down. If it doesn't work immediately, just quit Star Citizen and relaunch it. Sometimes that will also enable it again. I have gotten a couple of comments where they were struggling and just relaunching the game will set everything up. If you are having any trouble, double check that gaming extension here on the right is enabled and that you did hit start on open track as well. And that's basically how you set up Beam Eye Tracker. But hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like. And if you do get Beam Eye Tracker on their website, thank you for supporting the channel. And also a big thank you to Beam Eye Tracker for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.